to say, man. Moment of silence, please. Just moment of silence for... You ask why? For me not buying the memes early. How do you get in early? How do you get in early? Seriously, I'm Peanut, Fred, Pepe, Viv, all the dog, squirrel, raccoon tokens. How is this real, man? Peanut is up 1,000 person, like 1,300. This is all the, all exchanges listed. It's not even a week old. Matter of fact, this is Fred. And then we have Peanut. And I don't hold any of these. Just quick disclaimer, okay? And I'm going to share something real quick in this episode. What are the chances? What are the possibilities? That's how I'm going to go forward, okay? So, this is Fred on Solana. And then we have Peanut, as usual, obviously. Look at, look at Peanut here. No, I'm not joking. Look at this here. This is serious. This is real. And now I understand why all the boomers and all the whales all in the tra TradFi, they are so mad at us. Like, come on. Bitcoin crossing the oil giant in market cap. Pepe crossing like top 10 tech companies or whatever. Of course, they're going to get pissed, man. What do you expect? Right? <laughs> Elon talking about DOGE, which is totally something else. And then Doge here pumps. And then literally seeing someone post about, if you have never bought Doge, I think this is a good time to buy Doge. Just seen. And one of the comment, no, it's not. And then he, resp he replies, I guess this guy's in the marketing field. He, res he responds with, oh, this is for those who never bought like the one who never bought Joe's, basically. The plebs, the first-time buyers. I think that is, they, they should buy right now. Okay. That's their advice, not mine. And look at this here. Peanuts, right? Over here, it says it's 13 days old. 13 days old. Dude, 13 days old. It was created on pump.fun, where memes are created, like, every seconds, okay? This one has 19.5 million liquidity, and it's at 1.5 million fully diluted value and market cap not everybody pays attention to these numbers i like to see the numbers here okay if you look this is crazy the whole thing took off right now november 12th it was sitting at 47 well if you go back all the way you see this here november 10th three days sitting at 13 cents and all the way if you go back where it actually started so kind of the short peanut Viral, the squirrel, and then the Fred is the raccoon. First convicted raccoon. That's the name they've given. And this one, literally, when I covered Peanut, <laughs> was sitting at 7 cents. And then it literally doubled and went to 20 cents. You can see the same chart, same pattern. Literally, Fred, Peanut, same time. And then there's thousands of tokens being created nonstop. You know what's happening here? I want to show you something. Let's see if I still have it. I responded to this guy. Yeah, money laundering at best, man. Like, this is crazy. Look at this here. This whale earned 16.8 million on Peanut and Fred in just one week. 16.8 million. Pay attention to the numbers here. Because right now, I'll be just talking about a few things. I'll try to break it down like 7 greater. And please, if you understand this better, explain it to me. I'm really curious. I want to learn. I have, don't see people actually talk about this. Yeah, this guy is making 16.8 million. Where is he going to take the money out from? And a lot of other things, okay? Because the numbers are fascinating. Oh, he made 100 million. Yeah, how do you, did you make it? Can I see that number, like, physically? Because if you can't do anything with it, if somebody's holding peanut, can you buy something with it on Wal in Walmart or Amazon with peanuts? Or any other tokens? You get the point? So I'm coming back to that. Hold that thought. On November 6th, the whale spent 2.14 million to buy 17 million peanut with an unrealized profit. See that? Unrealized profit. 14.18 million. Okay. I hope I remember what I'm about to say. I don't have a script. But I really want to share a few things. It just clicked. So I'm like, okay, hold it. The amount of crime being committed on the Solana blockchain coupled with weak regulatory jurisdictions is insane. People starve for opportunity and not rugging crypto Twitter idiots for tens of millions. Crypto Twitter, yeah, X. I believe most of these all things are getting pumped using this media. because And also YouTube is there. There are some YouTubers. But this is massive. X is massive for crypto, okay? And then, dude, someone's watching the nuts and billions. What are the chances people are money laundering and whatnot? Okay, now... 
Two things I want to actually ask you. First of all, if you look at Bitcoin, this is crazy, man. Bitcoin went up to 93,000. Again, all broke all time high. Nobody knows what is the tops. It can't just keep going up. It'll take a break. It's like people are people have so much money, non-stop money. It keeps coming, right? If you pay attention, every other token, right? They don't have much liquidity or volume. It's just holding tight and sitting there. Bitcoin is one of a kind. Please pay attention because I'm just asking some questions and I'm also curious to know if this is the case. It could be one of the scenarios, okay? And stock market is another level. If we are in a so-called bull market, then why are a lot of the tokens, again, dumping? Some of them are pumping, others are dumping simultaneously. It's pretty wild to see that. It's like someone's or some entity and when i say someone i mean like you know a bunch of users a lot of them obviously even thousand in the crypto is like nothing right if you have like but this is what it, how it works top 10 rug pullers rug pulls some 90 percent of the whole thing it's not like thousands of people are rug pulling it's kind of a huge syndicate a couple of them they make the most it's a zero-sum game right it's not like it's totally decentralized decentralized is just a joke all right, it's it's not even decentralized. How is it going to be decentralized if government holds U.S. government holds a huge chunk, and some of the other governments hold huge chunk, and also uh, BlackRock? How is it decentralized anymore? All right, and my question to you, first of all, not one, number one question: Bitcoin, what changed? Should you buy Bitcoin right now, bro? What changed for years? Bitcoin was one dollar, two dollar, ten dollar, twenty dollar. How how long do we have to tell you? If you're serious, think about it and just do when you need to do it. But why ask this question when everything is mooning? Why ask when BTC is going up right now? Right? When it was sitting here, 56, 68, no, 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 I'm not going to touch it. Oh, now I think I should touch it because it's at 90k. What changed? You understand what I mean? Same thing with gold. Gold is low right now. Same. Oh, no, gold just done. Why should I hold it? I, I can go on on a different topic. Gold, collectibles and stuff. People buy gold watch and this and that. I could just buy gold collectibles. Just saying. I don't have to. Like, yeah, gold are boomers. Anyway, that's not, it's not my gold. I want to keep it to crypto right now. Okay. So my thing is, if you want to buy BDC, what changed? Nothing. It's like you, someone who keeps asking, what, when should I buy? When should I buy? They're just going to keep waiting. Even if it's 60000 they're like, should I buy right now? You know, should I buy right now? So it's a legit question. I'm asking you. Like if before you ask me, should I buy? I'm asking you, like, what's the deal? How long? Like, why ask this question when everything goes up? Why not when it's down? Should have asked me then, right? And I always said that. BDC, that's what people are doing. And what are the chances? What are the chances? All these dudes here, okay? You see these things? They're making min 16 million from peanuts and all that stuff. Now my question is, where is the liquidity coming from? Someone who made 16 million, he needs a fool to buy that from him. I mean, another person or whatever you want to call them, right? If you don't find them, if that person doesn't have the money, then you are not. That's how it, this whole system works, right? So he probably will be holding bags until he can cash out. And then the question, how is he cashing out? Which exchange is he cashing out from? All right, Binance this. How do, how do they cash out? Where do they put the money? Oh, which bank is going to take this money? No, no, I'm just asking like, you know, curious. I'm curious. So I'm asking like curious questions. <laughs> curious questions. Back. Okay, then they have to figure out, I have to wash the money and launder the money. Okay, I have to go to Vegas. And there's some other countries in Asia, casinos and stuff. I mean, I can go on, on that topic, but I'm going to keep the money laundering aside. And please don't use all this information. I'd rather say don't abuse all this information. It's for informational and educational and entertainment purposes only. But that's how it works. But the main first question is the liquidity. If this is right, and in Peanut or Fred... Look at this here. Fred is 143 million market cap. Liquidity is 4.2 million. You cannot cash. If you have $4 million profit sitting in the whole thing and it's more than liquidity, whatever. How can you cash? You can't. You will be rugging the whole system. It's not just possible in a way. Okay. So hence, you notice this. More suckers come in. They sell in chunks. But, you know, bit by bit. That's what Mr. Uh, Mr. Beast did, isn't it? What did he do? Ch sell his entire super farm. 11 point some million worth in chunks. And you know what? All these dudes that I was calling them out, like in the in the beginning, all the victims and all the other dudes, not the victims, the, all the followers, the naysayers, the haters. Hey, man, you don't know anything, man. Oh, by the way, some developers are dumping. Developers are dumping. Guess who's the developer now? Or so-called, that individual developer. Mr. Beast, alleged? He was the one dumping. 
while everybody thought, oh, some insider misbehavior. Yeah. So exactly the point. They needed people to pump it so they can then dump it. Right now, my only thing is, if you look, Fred, Peanut, the dude who is holding millions, there's not even millions. Like now, Peanut has a 19.6 million liquidity. That's pretty crazy. Locked. Another story. Another meme story which is bigger than ever. Like Peanut took off quicker than Pepe and any other thing. And Pepe just got listed on Coinbase. Not even a top signal, obviously. But And Pepe is mooning. It's crazy, isn't it? If you think about it, it's totally fine. I'm not against it. I like I like meme. I like doc tokens. And but imagine what people would do. And it's not like it's fun or raising a charity for peanut and doing something good. It's literally make <laughs> fooling the Gen Zs and all the young dudes in the crypto Twitter and whatnot, and taking their life savings literally, or whatever. This guy made some money, right? And he literally thought Fred is a good thing. He's just made some profit. He dumped it in Fred, he lost everything. This is how it works, right? So ultimately, at the end of the day, the one who actually you think is a winner is not the winner. The tens of these winners, small winners, micro, they get rock pulled by the bigger ones. Okay? This is all levels. There's a beginner, this is this. So the beginner one, they're trying. Okay, fine. He makes it a little bit. Then the second person will take a lot of chunk from the beginners and make a decent pie. The other ones, the whale, the big rug pullers or whatever, the big whales, whatever you call them, they play the bigger games and they take a huge pie from the middle guy. <laughs> that's what it is. Whoever comes after you. That's the fascinating part of crypto, man. Buy early and dump it on them. Simple. Just don't money launder and don't do anything illegal. All right. Elon Musk on Dogecoin's inflation. Feature or flaw? He's just talking about it. Doge is sitting at one point there. And I'll talk about all these Dogecoin use cases and whatnot. Look, Robinhood and Coinbase list Pepe, Sol, Eda, XRP, whatever. Sure. All of a sudden, they're listing right now. Okay, that's good. After the you know election and all the stuff. What happened all these days? Everybody waits for something to pump so they can list and take advantage of the fees and this and that. Everybody wants to win. But ultimately, if you remember, I did a video yesterday where I said, it's a ruthless game. Not everybody wins. So yet, hence, you have to be very careful. So, yeah, I don't want to drag this again. I didn't say it long today. <laughs> I kept quiet. <laughs> but I want to show you something. Again, if you look, BDC sitting at 91K. What happened? Doge went up, up and down because of the news. Everything because of the news. Not only Doge, I'm just talking about most of the token. Look at the ones in the red right now. What happened to them? Matic and all these. They were huge. Like They had huge promises and all that stuff, right? Why are they not taking off? We should look at those. If there is a chance in some of those, we should look in the red ones, not the ones that are already pumping so high. But also remember, most of them will not make it. But yes, there is a handful of them. Doesn't matter there's a utility or not. Whether Akash has utility or not doesn't matter. I'll see the hype and whatever behind it. It has this AI thing behind it. It's just one of the examples. Dog tokens, meme tokens. Nobody cares about utility, whatever. So meme token. People know this exactly, how, what they're doing, right? No way. They know they're going to buy early, they're going to lose or win. What else is the chances? You either lose or you win. There's nothing else. There's no value given, nothing else. Okay? Once some of the tokens are used as payment in the future, this, we can talk about that. Now, let me ask you another thing. I told you, the first question was, why buy? Ask the question when it's like up. You should have asked me rarely. Second question, what are the chances? These dudes over here, right, mentioned 16 million, whatever million, right? They are... First of all, they get, obviously it's a syndicate. They have the insider knowledge, that's why they're able to be, or few get lucky, others, this guy created a fresh wallet, whoever, this individual, someone created a new wallet and spent, created a new wallet, they know exactly what they're doing, you know, figuring it out, there's a, and they have the group, keeping that aside, right? My thing is, they cashed out some in fiat, whatever, but what if they don't cash out? They will take all, basically, from all these meme tokens that's being pumped in Solana right now, all of them, Right? A bunch of veils. They take all of these fund, they money launder. That's one case. Second, they dump it on crypt, uh, BDC, ETH, and Solana, whatever, the top level. By pushing BDC up and up and up. What are the chances? Sometimes you see, right? Hey, a whale bought this much BDC. And then you ask yourself, hold on. Um, what kind of veil is this? If like Warren Buffett and other you know, top levels, if they're selling... I'm not saying everyone's selling, but I'm just saying this. 
It could be a, a whale that actually rug pulled. What are the chances? Yeah, my camera just died. Camera! Come on, Cam Jam. Cam Jam. You know what? Let me just bring this to the final sc full screen here. Fair enough? And then I'm going to end it right now. What are the chances? Can I draw here? I don't think so. Oh, no, man. Can't draw. Oh, no, this is also dead. All right, let's keep it this. No. All right. What are the chances? Man, I can't draw here. This is sad. Whiteboard. Okay, there you go. No. Come on, man. So stupid. All right, never mind. I just don't care about that. What are the chances? These dudes taking all the money from all these meme tokens and whatnot, and they're dumping in BDC. They are the whales who are pumping it. While we are thinking, oh my God, all the good dudes, all the big dudes, the corporations they're buying. Not everybody's paying, paying attention. You can literally check on blockchain. When we say whale, it's not say this guy's a good whale or a bad whale. They don't say that. But when you know exactly how people are making it behind the scene, you have to dig deeper, research and all that. Then you just start questioning. And this is going to be another euphoric, a maniac, whatever. It's going to play out. It's not going to end right away. This, we, we are in the holiday season. When we always talk about top stops, top doesn't play out like in a day or, you know, it can take even weeks to a month. If you remember last time, what happened? November, December, Jan, Feb, March dropped. Then again, relief rally took off, then found a bottom. And I'm not saying it's going to happen with this or that. What I'm saying, maybe Bitcoin might have a new low. Awesome. But all the other all tokens will be yeah, sucked out. Liquidity will get sucked out from them and they all are going to be put into BDC and all that. So what are the chances? All these whales, bad dudes, whatever, rug pullers are screwing up all the mini ones, the Gen Zs and, you know, the crypto Twitter, taking all their money and converting them into BDC and their stuff and then money laundering and whatever they're doing. I mean, of course, what are the chances? No, I'm serious. Keep thinking and let me know in the comments, man. All right. And don't get rug pulled. And I'll see you in the next vid. Peace for now. Well, how do you close this? Right.